So I co-founded Openmanics um, because we wanted to build assistive devices that could um, enable people to have more freedom and independence. And we wanted these devices to be really affordable. So at the moment there's this amazing Barnic technology that exists but it's out of reach of most patients because it's so expensive. And we want to completely change that and make it really accessible and democratise a really helpful technology. So at the moment, um, everything is really exciting at Openbionics because we're gearing up to launch. Um, we've been trialling our bionic hands with children as young as eight. I think the coolest thing about this is that we've been working really closely with amputees. We're not just designing a solution for them, they're helping us design the solution. I think um, it's a really exciting time and in the very near future we're focusing on our launch of the first 3D printed bionic limb. The cool thing about my job um, includes seeing people being fitted with bionic limbs for the first time and that's a really big moment. So for young children they often don't have access to these devices because they're not made small enough or they're just too expensive so their parents can't afford to supply them with it or the NHS can't afford to supply the patient with it. Um, so seeing a young child being able to move fingers individually for the first time is really cool. I'm particularly inspired and motivated by the, the science fiction limbs. So these are bionic arms that come from the science fiction universes. They, they didn't exist in real life before. They might have existed on a character, so like a Disney character, so like Iron Man's arm, or in DSX, the video game, um, Adam Jensen's arm. We actually take those character arms, um, 3D print them, and, and build them and give them to amputees. These arms look super stylish, they're really sleek, and they say a lot about your personality and who you are. of prosthetics is um, low cost, lightweight, um, multi-grip, um, really great control um, and even further in the future it's, it's all about hyper-personalisation.